Alright, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll talk about APIs. We're going to fetch live football data like a pro. An API though, is like pizza or any food delivery. You don't cook the food or the pizza, that's the API's job. You just call and ask for what you want. Maybe get pepperoni or get fufu corn or get something else that's ice cream and boom data arrives at your doorstep today we are ordering a large football match data food now an api key is like a secret password to all you can eat football data buffet Here's how you get one. You go to football-data.org, sign up, it's free, like having free samples, testing out food or testing a car before buying it. And then you grab your API key. Make sure you don't lose it and make sure you save it somewhere secure because the data bouncer will not let you in. Now, very important, store your key in a safe place, maybe config.py file. Never hard code it like your Wi-Fi password because that is a security no-no. Now, in order for us to make API calls, we need Python's request library. It is like a hungry football fan that's fetching for data faster than you can grab a snack. Now, watch how we proceed with coding this. So we import request, we set up our headers, we have a URL which you can get from the documentation of our API and then you set up a response. Think about request response cycle as a normal URL or as a normal thing that happens with web request. Now, we mentioned JSON. JSON is like the Russian dolls, right? You have layers of data inside layers of data inside layers of data. To get to this match, we need to dig in. So, again, we can use a pro tip where we use pretty print, that's P print, to be able to avoid drowning in the data. It's like having X ray vision for your JSON. Now, sometimes problems arise. APIs could cost you. Maybe your key expired or the server is taking a nap or maybe you just have another error. So here's how you handle these issues gracefully. You use a try accept block. Always make sure you wrap your API calls around it. It's like bringing an umbrella to a football match. You never know when it's gonna rain. So it's also important to note that you might run out of your calls from the API based on the limitations. So check your weight limits. Also cache your data to avoid this. Log your errors because debugging without logs is like var with no commas. But next time, we're going to display all of this in our app. So hit that subscribe button so you don't miss. And comment var socks if you've ever yelled at the referee. Now when the response comes back, we have it in JSON format, we need to unbox it and then save it in matches. So if this works, matches will contain glorious data. If it doesn't work, we're going to have an error or a status code that we can then check and say, yep, we cannot add soup in your pizza. Your pizza doesn't allow for that. Now, remember, we need to secure our API key. So to do that, 
we create a separate file and call it maybe config.py and we have a constant create a constant variable create a constant called your api key copy your key from footballdata.org website and paste it in there make sure it's not visible to everyone else now you import the config file and also import your api key which is going to be inserted in the headers with that api key you now have access to the stadium to watch your live matches so we are all set next we go into the index.html file set up a header and just output the matches which is coming from our app.py file on the function we created the get matches function now before we execute this code you want to make sure you are in your virtual environment use pip list to check that every imported module has already been installed if you have not yet installed request go ahead and use pip python install packaging and install it very simply if you already have it installed it's going to notify you that it already exists now we can run our flask app and see what our output looks like once it runs successfully you should be able to follow the link and view the output in this case we have a minor issue because we did not call the function correctly so it's showing us the location of that function in memory so we just need to make sure we have our opening and closing brackets and boom all your data is out on your front end in a json format remember we talked about json format so the nested within the matches the groups the teams the scores and so on and so forth it's quite tedious to unravel this so like i recommended earlier go ahead and use pretty print that's p print to be able to clean out this data so from p print import p print and you should be able to output that maybe to the console so that you debug it in the next video we're going to make our output cleaner Just check it out in a list or if we create a table which has some styling to it we can change the styling to fit the needs of our theme maybe purple or green or even add more data in there like the scores and other information make sure you smash that like button subscribe to the channel so you do not miss the next video dropping shortly this is v2sdk thank you you already know